Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm answering question number two from the Solomon F collection of questions from uh, Edexcel. This is from the Mechanics paper, Mechanics M1 papers. This is question two from that paper, and it's question five from my end of topic worksheet number six on momentum and impulse. And uh, this question here, it says, during trials of a bulletproof vest, a shotgun of mass 2 kilograms is used to fire a bullet of mass 30 grams horizontally at the vest. The initial speed of the bullet is 100 meters per second. Calculate the initial speed of recoil of the gun. So here we have the situation where you've got the situation before the gun is fired. All right, so before the gun is fired, we could say we have the gun. Let's say this is the gun, all right, and inside the gun we have the bullet, okay, so we have the bullet inside the gun, Just draw it like that, okay, this is the bullet inside the gun, it's a very crude drawing, so like, just say that that's before the collision, before the uh, gun is fired, that's going to be inside the gun, but I'll draw them separately, so we know that the mass of the gun is two kilograms. So the mass of the gun is two kilograms. And the mass of the bullet is 30 grams. Now the mass of the bullet, okay, we want to express all the, we want to express everything in terms of SI units. So for mass, the SI unit is kilograms. So this is fine. So 30 grams, if I want to change it to kilograms, I must divide it by 1000. So it's 30 divided by 1000. So the decimal point moves back three spaces. So one, two, three, so that's 0 0.03 kilograms all right we should express them in si units so that everything is like you know standard so that's before the collision and what's happening is nothing's happening before the collision both of them are not moving before the not collision before the gun is fired so that's actually the initial speed of both of them it says the initial speed of the bullet what they mean is after the gun is fired that's what they mean but we're thinking about what happens before the gun is fired and we're thinking about what happens after the gun is fired. Okay, that's what we're thinking about in, in terms of our calculations. So if we if we just take these again. Okay, so after the gun is fired, what's going to happen is the following. The the bullet's going to go off, and now the bullet moves off with this initial speed, as I said, of 100 meters per second. So that's that's its speed after the gun is fired. So that's like our final speed in our situation. And the gun is going to have a, a recoil. It's going to go back slightly with a certain velocity. That's the velocity of the gun. Okay. So, of course, the masses are the same. Mass of the gun and mass of the, the bullet are the same in both cases. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, use the fact that the momentum is conserved, that we have a, you know, the conservation of momentum. Okay. The momentum before. So we can say the momentum, the total momentum in the system before the gun is fired is equal to the momentum after the gun is fired, the conservation of linear momentum. Okay, so what we can do is we can say before it's going to be zero, of course, you're going to have two times zero plus 0 0.03 times zero. That's going to be zero, of course. And after you're going to have two times the velocity of the gun, which we're looking for, plus Okay, and I'm going to take this, this side as positive, right? This side is positive in our calculation. So you're going to have 0 0.03 times 100. Okay, that's going to be the momentum of the bullet after it's fired. Okay, it's mass times its, it's velocity. So this, gun, this side, of course, is going to be zero. So you're going to have two times the velocity of the gun is equal to, now that, that becomes three, uh, uh, sorry, plus three. Not equals three plus three okay so therefore we can say that um subtract three from both sides so negative three is equal to two times vg so the velocity of the gun is minus 1.5 meters per second now they're saying the initial speed of recoil so the speed of recoil now speed is a scalar quantity okay the velocity of the reason why it's negative is of course if the gun has a kickback so it's going in that direction which we have taken as negative that's why it comes out as negative but the speed is the magnitude of the velocity okay so the, the speed is 1.5 meters per second we don't associate 
you know, a sign with the speed. Okay, so it has to be positive, right? So the magnitude of the velocity is 1.5 meters per second. That is the um, the initial speed of recoil of the gun. So there's part A done. And right, now for part B, it says the bullet hits the vest horizontally at a speed of 80 meters per second. So basically, let's say that that's the vest. And we've got our bullets. So I'll just use the same thing here. Okay, so this is the bullet. It should be going straight at the vest. All right, so this is the bullet. It hits the, the vest horizontally at a speed of 80 meters per second and is brought uniformly to rest in a distance of two centimeters. So basically what happens is the bullet hits the vest, okay, and the speed at which it hits the vest is at 80 meters per second. 80 meters per second. And the bullet is brought to rest. So after a few seconds, after two seconds, no, not after two seconds, it's after two centimeters once it's gone it's gone inside two centimeters so the bullet kind of enters into the um you know uh the vest two centimeters so this is like a bit of a just a little skip oh that's a bit big one second let's make that nice and smaller all right so that here is just say two centimeters has gone in so it's gone in two centimeters now two centimeters Again, we're going to write things in standard units. We have to divide by 100 to change it into meters. Meters is the SA unit. That's going to be 0 0.02. So that's, it's gone in 0 0.02 meters inside the vest. Okay. And it's brought to rest. So its speed when it comes to rest, of course, is 0 meters per second. So we're going to find the magnitude of the force exerted by the vest on the bullet in bringing it to rest. Okay. So now... Um, what we have to do here is we have to think about the acceleration okay of this object in this uh, you know in this situation here all right because we want to find the force and the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration so if we can find the acceleration we can find the force now so it's brought uniformly to rest that means there's a, a uniform acceleration so we can say that we can use suvat so we know the distance it's traveled in coming to rest from the time it hit the vest, which is 0 0.02 meters. We know the initial speed is 80 meters per second. We know the final speed is zero. Acceleration is what we're trying to find. The time we don't know. So if you look at these three these four quantities, we can use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. You must know your formula. You must know your equations of motion, right? So V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. That will help us find the acceleration. Okay, so now we got V is 0, so that's going to be 0. U is 80, so that's going to be 80 squared, plus 2 times A, which is what we're trying to find, times S, which is 0 0.02. So we end up with um, 80 squared, so 2, 8, 8 is, uh, to 64 and 2 zeros, so that's 6,400, 6, equals, um, that's going to be um, 0 0.04 times A. And that's a negative here because you subtract from both sides. So you can have negative. So, of course, acceleration is going to be really huge. Minus 6,400 6, over 0.04. That's going to be a huge acceleration, of course, because it's, it's, it's going at such a high speed. It's come to rest in such a short little space. So the acceleration is going to be, the deceleration is going to be huge. Okay, so you have um, negative 6,400 divided by 0 0.04 and that gives you negative 160,000 negative 160,000 meters per second squared is the deceleration so now we need to find the uh, magnitude of the force so we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration the resultant force is mass times acceleration and we know the mass is of the bullet was 0 0.03 kilograms. And we know the acceleration is negative 160,000 meters per second squared. So the resultant force is therefore going to be 0 0.03 multiplied by negative 160,000. Okay, so that's going to be, um, it's going to be 4 minus 4. 
48 and you're going to have two zeros taken away. All right, just confirm that. That's going to be 0 0.03 times 160,000. Yeah, 4,800, so negative 4,800 Newtons. Of course, that means the, the force is acting in this direction here. It's like, you know, the direction of the acceleration, it's decelerating. So therefore, we can say that um, the magnitude of the force, which is what they want, the magnitude of the force of the force is equal to 4,800 Newtons. And that's the answer to the question. And that completes the whole of this question, which is question number two from the Solomon F paper. Question number five from the uh, end of topic worksheet. Other questions from this particular Solomon F paper that I have answered will be found in the playlist that is over here. If you find a question that is from this paper you want me to answer and it's not answered, you don't find it in the playlist, then you can send me a request to answer it. Um, end of topic worksheet. Over here, the, the, the link will be for the Endotopic Worksheet playlist where this is taken from, question number five. You can find the rest of the Endotopic Worksheet questions there. Again, by request for those students who I, I teach, um, you know, the, the ones that have the worksheet, they can ask me to, uh, you know, uh, answer some other questions if they want from that worksheet that I haven't done so. Uh, you can find um, generally all, all the other questions that I've answered on momentum and impulse from M1, including past paper questions in this general playlist that will be over here and you can watch the video here which will help you to navigate my channel to find things more efficiently thank you for watching and see you soon